はい、はい、とつもりありがとうございます。Tuna mayo is always my favorite. Can is our curry? Platform 12, right? Haku Taka. Everyone and welcome back to the channel and welcome to Takahashi Station. This morning we woke up in Kanazawa. We took a train yesterday from Matsuyama to Kanazawa. We took a train. We took three trains. It was a long old journey.、Uh, we stayed overnight in Kanazawa yesterday and we took a bullet train from Kanazawa to here, which is Takahashi. It's where we are right now. I don't know a lot about Takahashi, but it's in Gomma. Which is a prefecture I don't think we've spent a lot of time in actually.、Uh, it's a prefecture not too far away from Tokyo and it's very, very famous for having onsen. There's a number of onsen here in Gamma and that is where we're going today. We're actually making our way to a place called Shima Onsen. We're going to stay in Ryokan there called Kashiwaya,、um, which I'm super excited about.、Uh, the reason why we've decided to go to there is apparently it's a beautiful onsen town and this Ryokan is going to make some vegetarian food for Liam. Yes. Anyway, from Takahashi, we're going to catch a limited express train to a station called Nakanajo. And from Nakanajo, we are going to be taking a bus, right? Yeah. To Shima Onsen. So come along with us today.、Uh, we'll be heading to Shima Onsen, showing you a little bit around our Ryokan. So cool. All right, let's go. Picked up some hot boss coffee from the machine.、Uh, all the blue drinks are cold and all the red drinks are hot. You can see here, look. It's got a little hot symbol, so all of those ones are hot, and、uh, all the blue ones up there are cold.、Um, I can't remember which way you do it. Oh, yeah, so if you press one of the buttons, you can scan your speaker card, your IC card here, and、um, then you can pay for it that way, or you can just put in some money, notes in here, coins in here. We're in car number three, but we don't know which sticker applies to our train. None of these stickers say anything about our train. But this is car number three for like some local train. There's a number two, there's a special train which stops here. Like a steam engine, so it's number this is car number one for the steam engine. Pretty sure that's not going to be us. And there is also some resort Yamadori liner which also stops at this platform as well. Also, there seems to be little red stickers every so often which seem to be largely rubbed off. And there's another one up there which says four on it, which looks like nothing I've seen before it too. So we have no idea where we're supposed to be standing. We're in car number three. When the train turns up, we're just going to have to run to the right car. Good t r a i n It looks awesome. Come on, be our train, be our train, be our train, be our train. Whoa! Three! This is us. Shinkansen line here. Look, this is the one that heads north to Niigata. You can usually spot a Shinkansen line from ages away, super straight, and they're usually quite high off the ground. That's cool, huh? Just go straight into that mountain. Oh, wow.
And over there. We're waiting for the lift because we're lazy. We go this way. We keep my show. Why are we walking up slope again? Oh my god, it really is snowing. You see these little covers for your little slippers? So you oh, can that's outside. so cute. So good. Wow, it's really coming down. Yeah. Shame about it being wet. But it looks so cool. Are we sitting on the balcony? Might as well. Can I just take a look at the room quickly? Oh, so orange. So this is our room. We have just checked in. Oh, it's so pretty. Uh, we are staying in the Kashiwaya Ryokan here in Shima Onsen. Uh, we took a bus from Nakanajo Station. My lit weirdly. Um, it took us up here, uh, sort of a little bit up the mountain. It took about 26 minutes, about half an hour bus journey. I fell asleep on it a little bit. Um, and we've just checked into our room. We're staying in the Take room. Take means bamboo. And as you can see, there is currently no bedding set up. This is quite normal for a ryokan. Uh, they are gonna serve us our food in here. When we checked in, we selected what time we wanted to have our room, um, have our food be served at 6.30 or six. We chose 6.30 because six seemed a little bit early. And um, yeah, then uh, oh, the woman sent, uh, like took us to our room and showed us uh, everything around the complex. It's a pretty simple ryokan. They have a sort of a, um, a separate men and women bath downstairs and they have private baths on the higher floor. I thought we might need to book because that tends to happen when you stay in a ryokan. You have to book the private onsen and the private baths, but it seems like we don't have to do that here. Uh, we can just go and use Use it as long as they are free so uh, we might pop and do that a little bit later uh, Liam is also just going to show us where the bedding is right the no, bedding's, bedding's in here. over there this oh, bedding's is, over here so this is the outer your outer coat oh a little basket for your onsen stuff oh that's cool ah so this is the coats that we can wear around the town right i think so yeah. we're gonna need more than that outside oh Gentle that's so cute cool that's the bedding liam's found it um we won't have to put it out they'll put it out for us so what will happen is we'll have uh, dinner here uh, at about 6 30 and after dinner is done then uh, we'll go to have a bath and they'll put the bedding out for us oh this is so nice and relaxing oh we forgot to have a look in the little thing yes a tea set amazing should we have tea yeah, that'd be nice. yeah, let's do it. Liam pointed out just a second ago that in here, in our little balcony area, uh, we already have um, hot water which has been boiled. Uh, you might see these in a lot of Rio can and other places that you visit in Japan. It is actually a hot water machine, so you can put a cup underneath here and I press a big yellow button to pour the hot water. It sort of keeps water warm for you throughout the day. It's really quite cute. We have a little sink area as well. And um, I also didn't show you the uh, small toilet. So there's a little toilet in here. Turn, no, wait, that's that one. That one. There we go. Look, small Japanese toilet for us. Obviously no bath needed in here because we're supposed to use the baths that are in the complex. So uh, the onsen baths that they have around the private onsen or the ones downstairs. Oh, I love it. Oh, it's locked. No, that's locked. Maybe it's not ready yet. Because it's only at 75, but did we want it at 90? Yeah, so how do you get it to heat up? Okay, yeah. Cute. Uh, Didn't put my finger through the thing yet. Oh, that's good. I should stay away from these. 
to show the yukata selection let's see mm, very nice so we chose our yukata from here i got medium size liam got um double l because he's super tall um we just came into the private onsen we had to go outside <coughs> um to climb up to where it is and this is it oh wow it looks really good it's properly proper it's properly outside liam um, we're in the onsen. It's amazing. Um, usually I wouldn't film inside of an onsen, but because it's a private onsen, it's just Liam and I, and plus I can cut whatever I want to cut. So that, that's why we're doing it. Um, over there is where we washed. It is actually outside. Um, we washed, um, well, I just washed my body. You can see I still got my makeup on. I'm going to leave my makeup on. I'm going to wash it again later in, a, in another onsen and take it all off. But for now, we're just sitting in the bath with the, um, with the makeup on. And there's a beautiful little, I don't know, it's sort of like backdrop over here. Uh, some bamboo and, um, yeah, it's just, I don't know, very atmospheric. It's still Our dinner has arrived. Uh, we've been given a menu here. And so this one's mine. Liam's is slightly different. Um, so we have some tempura, some cognac. We have a special kashiwaya kash, dish here, which I believe is, I believe they're a big, they're a big bean. Mm. Um, then there's hot pot in here, which is gonna be ready in 15 minutes. So we just have to let that go. I can't remember what this is. Is this some kind of tofu? No. Yuba is that. Ah, maybe it is. This is obviously tempura sauce. Rice is in here and it will be done in 30 minutes, she said. This is strawberry sake. Um, and I think we are good. We're good. Mm. Awesome. Oh, is she so? We just came back from a second onsen. I lied, I didn't actually take my makeup off. I'm gonna take it off in a minute. Um, but we just went to have another onsen after dinner. Uh, just as we left, um, we phoned up, we dialed nine on the, on the phone uh, to tell them that we finished our dinner. Somebody popped up here like near enough instantly uh, to clean everything away and then asked us, um, did we want our futon put out? So of course we said yes. Uh, so the futon is all put out here. Uh, you can see it's here on the ground. It's quite, it's quite spongy. Like I really quite like a futon, but I also really appreciate a hard bed. Um, so it, it's definitely like you're sleeping on the floor, um, but I find it's more than comfortable, especially if you like a firm mattress. We also have sort of, it's not double pillow, it's a like sort of folded over pillow, and usually they have some beans in them, so uh, the pillow is tends to be a little bit textured. Um, this one has, I can feel it, beans on the underneath and like sort of like feathers on top, well not feathers, but like stuffing on top. Um, I will probably flip it so I sleep on the beans, but up to you what you want to do uh, the duvet cover is massively thick i guess we have a super thick one because it is uh the middle of winter i'm guessing during the summer months they'll have a thinner one but yeah bed is all set up now we're probably going to relax and play some video games we bought our nintendo switch with us so we're gonna um play that watch some stuff on our laptop and just chill out before going to bed properly yay on some blue water. Yay! What? We have made it out. After having lunch, we went back to the room, got changed. Breakfast. We didn't have lunch. After having breakfast, we went back to the room, got changed, put on some clothes. We had two baths last night, so I don't really think we needed to have an extra shower bath this morning. Uh, so we just shoved some clothes on and have come out. The Ryokan that we're staying in is in the lower part of town. So we're going to walk to the sort of central area of town. It's gonna to take us about 20 minutes, probably 25, because I'm going at a slow pace. Um, and just do some things around there. There's a few other sort of onsens that you can visit. There's a lot of Ryokan in town and they open up their onsen during the day. So we may go do that, we don't know. Uh, there's also a few trekking routes and there's a lake. Um, so yeah, we don't have any concrete plans at the moment. Just gonna head in and see what we see.
So this is the bus stop and they are all the ryokan, I think, that are accessible from this bus stop. Oh, okay. And a load of phone numbers for them. Yeah. That's quite cool. Yeah, so if you're staying in one of those, you get off here. And if you need to phone them to come pick you up, I guess, you can, like, see their number. It's pretty cool. I think this is another ryokan and it has a little foot bath outside. Is it a ryokan or a little food place? Oh, it's a little cafe. Oh, that's so cute. Liam was commenting about how clear the water is and it's also very slightly blue. They call it Shima blue. And apparently uh, the makeup of it is supposed to sort of cure all your ailments. Don't know how true that actually is. It does look cool though and it is super clear. Oh, that's good. This little thing here is an onsen as well. And I think those two are going down to use it. I think it might be free. I think you can just go in. Ah, uh, which is pretty cool. This is a Seki Zenkan, um, which is a giant ryokan with a bathhouse right in front of it here. I believe this is the bathhouse. It's famous because they have Roman style baths. At the bottom, you might be able to see those arched windows. They're very Roman style baths in there. It's also pretty famous for being one of the inspirations for the bathhouse in Spirited Away. I believe it's sort of like all these kind of walkways between all the buildings and uh, some of the facade of this bathhouse as well. It's really, really cool. These apps are actually super helpful. See, we're in Yuzuria, the green thing. And then there's Inatsutsumi Shrine coming up. On the top right, off to the park. It's adorable. With the snow falling and everything. It looks out over this. Yeah, yes, the board has fallen. There's a little shrine. And yeah, that does look like there's a walking path up there. It looks amazing going straight up the mountain. Found a cute little viewpoint. Oh, let's go have a look. It's the waterfall. With the snow on all of the trees. Oh, that's so cool. And the really blue water. That is amazing. cafe in Kyoto now we're at the bird cafe temples over here uh, to the right of the temple there's a little shrine at the back there you can see this little cafe we just sat in there um, I had a toast set which had toast and some jam and butter a little bit of salad and a coffee it was adorable it cost 850 yen each and yeah it was just really nice to sit in there and chill out they also really like birds in there there was a lot of birds in there um, we're now checking out the um, I think it's the first bath or the site. Oh, sorry, not holding camera. It's the site of the first onsen water. Onsen water, or something onsen like spring. that. The spring? source of the onsen, something to do with the onsen water, and then finding it here first. So anyway, they put an onsen here now, so you can actually go in and use it, and it's also free. We don't know whether we will do today though, because it's very cold outside, and I think washing our bodies in this cold weather is going to be a bit intense. Um, but it is supposed to be cute inside. I'm gonna go have a look in the girls section and Liam will go have a look in the boys section so we can at least say that we've seen it. Uh, that was really cute. It's really adorable in there. It's a tiny, tiny place. Uh, there's sort of some pa a little path that goes down into the main onsen itself. Um, one little hose. 
for you to wash your body with and then this little bath which looks out over to the river really really cute there's actually two women in mine and i think with three of us it would have been a tight squeeze <laughs> <laughs> That's a way to get rid of some change. We went in the onsen. It was super cute. What was it? 1,200 yen each, right? Yeah. Quite expensive for an onsen. It is fairly, yeah. But I mean, it's a 300 year old yeah. building. Yeah, it's about, yeah, $12, about 10 quid. Yeah. It's a 300 year old building. Uh, and the bathhouses are in that bit, like at the bottom. And it's like, it's very Roman style. Apparently that was the fashion at the time, right? It was to have these kind of Roman style baths. As soon as you enter into the door, you're literally straight in there. So as soon as you enter the door of the gendered area, you could just see the whole bathhouse. If we were the only, I was the, the only woman, you were the only bloke. And um, yeah, we just got changed, washed ourselves off with the shower that was there and then um, got in the bath and sat in it for about half an hour. So yeah, it was super cool. Oh, dinner round two. Um, we came back from our walk earlier on today and as soon as I got back, I was just like, I just want to sleep. Um, and so we, I, the futons were luckily still laid out. So um, I, I slept and it was amazing. And uh, we just went and had an onsen downstairs. We went to the segregated onsen. So the ryokan that we're staying in has, um, has a big onsen downstairs, but one for women, one for men, and then private onsen on the higher floor we went to the segregated one this time um because it's warmer in there to wash we came back up here just in time for dinner uh to be served so yeah we have a whole load of stuff oh we have more cognac yeah, yeah yeah i love this stuff with the miso sauce it's really good and um, we actually have sashimi of mushrooms which is quite interesting our octopus is over here they've put give us some, given us a hot pot in here of pork and vegetables that's just going to cook that's going to take about 15 minutes there's rice with mustard leaves in, inside that's going to take about 30 minutes uh, and then just yeah i think there's just a few other bits and pieces the same beans that we had yesterday um i think he said like it's like a rice fried rice ball um it, it's this one so fried uh, rice cake with butter bar but oh that sounds great and deep fried coffee bun with chestnut amazing and i can't remember what's in here oh this is hot oh wow that looks good i can see some fishy in there all right we're gonna eat um good morning it is the morning that we're leaving the Rio can the Rio can's just over there uh, we left this morning at 11 o'clock our bus is going to be coming in a minute to that's not it is it no that's a coach, no, a coach. Uh, it was amazing we had such a lovely time we stayed for two days I think it cost us about 430 pounds I think something like that for two days for two days mm -hmm. which is breakfast and dinner included as well mm -hmm. so it's not horrific but it ain't cheap to stay in a ryokan that's one thing I say when people come to Japan it's not cheap to stay in a ryokan um we really enjoyed it though uh, the baths in our onsen were amazing there were three private baths we managed to do all of them what was your favorite one the tub Oh yeah, the, the Witcher one, tub. Which is cool. Yeah, there was a tub. It looked like the one that Garut babes in in the Witcher. It was awesome. And there was gender segregated baths as well, which we used last night and this morning and um, before getting ready. The bus is going to be taking us in a minute back to the station, Nakanajo station. And we're going to be taking a couple of trains there to get back to Kanazawa because we're going to be staying in Kanazawa tonight again. It's not probably the place that I would recommend people stay overnight on preparation to come here. Oh, we had yeah, no. <laughs> no, we had to stay at Kanazawa because... Um, coach. We had to stay in Kanazawa because we were coming over from... Kyoto and because I wanted to take the Thunderbird train. That was pretty much the reason I wanted to take that train. Uh, if you do want to visit Shima Onsen, there is a direct train which goes to Nakanajo from Tokyo. It's rare though, like it doesn't go very often during the day, um, but it can be done. I think it leaves from Ueno or something like that. Um, otherwise, there are more direct routes from Tokyo. I think Gunma, the prefecture that we're in, is a lot more easily accessible from Tokyo than it is from us coming from the other side of the country. But like I said, I wanted to take that train, so that's why we ended up doing it this way. But I want to say thank you so much for coming along with us today to, or this, the last few days, because we've done a vlog over a couple of days, Toshima Onsen. It's been super fun. Uh, the onsen was beautiful. It has been low season, so there wasn't as much going on in the town, really. 
No. The I scenery think it, was beautiful. Often fairly quiet. Though. Yeah, the scenery was beautiful, but there wasn't much going on in the town. And um, like, the, there was a few like sort of small things. The cafe that we stopped in was really nice. Um, there was a few small things to eat in the town, but lots of stuff was shut because it is low season. Um, but the scenery was lovely, and just chilling out and relaxing in the Rio Can. That was the special thing. So that was really cool. So anyway, thank you so much for coming along with us. Uh, we'll see you all next time when we're going to be in Takayama. Takayama. <laughs> uh, yeah, thanks so much everyone. See you all then. Bye!